Hey guys, good morning. It's me, Zen. How you doing? I hope everybody is doing good. Um, I am feeling amazing. I got to the office in about 45 minutes here. That's pretty phenomenal. Um, I left super early, around 6. So that's actually late for me when I leave to come down here. But anyway, I got here in good time, so it's all good. So I hope you guys are feeling amazing today. I'm feeling great. I'm wearing my new Eileen Fisher jacket. Uh, let me show it to you. I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, it's super cute. It's uh, sort of stretchy and fitted. And it's, um, it comes down to just mid-hip. So it's actually really cute. So I thought I'd wear that and <laughs> dazzle everyone today here in the office <laughs> with my jeans, of course. Anyway, I'm just embracing who I am today. And um, I listened to a video that Nisi made here on Greenlight the Day today. And it really resonated with me. Um, the part that I really liked was she was quoting uh, somebody who was talking about making a little change in your life. And if you think of your life as a circle and you're headed in any one direction uh, at a point on that circle, just shifting one or two degrees on that circle will take you if you extend that point out to a different end point. And so thinking about <clears throat> the changes that we're making in our lives, you know, the trajectory that we were on before, right, on that point in the circle may have been in going to the right straight out, and that was the wrong way for us, right? So we changed our lives. We had weight loss surgery, or we embarked on a weight loss journey to make positive changes in our life and for our health. And so whether that's shifting, um, you know, almost 90 degrees or like a 360, like in my case, pretty much I did a 360, in order to change my life. So I'm not heading at the exact same point, but probably maybe 359 and a half. So that's a really good thing uh, for me. And I know that now as I walk along that trajectory, that path in my life, that I'm going to end up in a different end point. Uh, maybe my life will be longer. Uh, maybe it won't. But at the same time, I know I'm going to enjoy it a whole lot more being able to experience things and do things for the first time. And of course, do things that I had done in the past. Um, that's also really important to be able to just reclaim, you know, some of those things that we used to do. And I used to be not really fit, but I was thin. So back in the day, you know, I, I just remember a lot of memories and um, I hold on to them. Um, I, I do not look at the physical picture today and say, okay, I'm, you know, because of this, it's this. Um, I do accept my limitations. Um, recently, I found out I have some issues with my left knee. I had known that for quite a while. Um, they're not as serious as some people here on YouTube, obviously. I don't need a knee replacement. I don't require surgery, thank goodness. But um, I do have to watch what I do in the gym. Um, I do have a neoprene uh, sleeve for my knee now and that works good it feels good i wore it all day yesterday here at the office and um, underneath my clothes of course you couldn't see it and at the gym i'll wear it so basically it's going to help support my knee um i have a little uh what do you want to say um wear in a couple of different places that cause pain when i do only certain movements not all the time so that had been persisting for about four years so i had the mri last week and got the results on monday I'm going to a really good um, orthopedic doctor and he's given me a couple of options uh, for treatment if I want to proceed with that. I can get a cortisone shot or two or whatever and um, I don't want to really do that. And then there's a second option which is like a lubricant gel, some kind of stuff, I forgot the name of it. It's hyaluronic acid actually is what it is and it's a cushion. It inserts a lubricant in the joint maybe helping that, that sensation of pain. Uh, when you do your exercise. So I'm considering that, um, finding out if my insurance will pay for it and stuff. I hope so, because maybe I would try that. Um, of course, down the road, you know, who knows what's going to happen. I have normal wear and tear on my knee, but I also have two places, one underneath the kneecap and one on the left side, where there's excess wear on the cushion part. Um, he was concerned I had a tear because I only have pain at certain movements. Um, and luckily I don't, so... Anyway, that's the update on my knees, so that's why he says no running or jumping, which <clears throat> for the most part I knew that because, it, you know, I have arthritis in my feet and it really, um, it's not good for my feet to jump anyway. And um, as far as my squats and lunges, you know, I can still do them. I just have to be more careful and I have to be 
more mindful about how far down I go. So I am pretty mindful. Um, I do practice balance exercises, guys. Um, I, I think that that's really important as you age. You know, that's one of the first things to go is your balance. So I do a lot of balance exercises and one foot uh, and alternating to the other foot, shifting, moving the leg out in different angles, raising, extending it out, you know, and just doing stuff like that. So back to the point about the circle. Sorry, I digressed up from the knee. You know, um, I think that most of us start on a journey in order to come to a different end point. Um, our circle, you know, the way that we were heading is sometimes, um, you know, it's baffling when we look back, right? And see it and say, my hair is all weird. Um, and say, wow, how did I ever get that to that place? What made me end up there? You know, and do a little reflection on that. And then just, you know, find a way to be your most authentic self. And let some of the things go that are holding you back. That's one of the things I think is really important is to just try to grab those things and instead of dwelling on them and making them um, a harsh reality on a daily basis, reliving the past and things like that, um, trying to let it go, I think for me is um, one of the things I've struggled with and it's definitely something, things that I want to let go, right? But sometimes we hang on to them regardless and we hear those voices in our head. You know, I've talked about that before. And they're not sick voices. I'm not sick. I'm talking about those thoughts that I call them voices. Just the thoughts, the different thoughts that pop into our mind. And sometimes they're just running, running, running until the I takes control of those thoughts and, and overrides them and says, you know what, this is going to stop. I'm not going to listen to this shit anymore. Whatever these thoughts are, you know, about you looking in the mirror or about this or about that, those thoughts are going to cease and I'm going to take over. And um, if you guys have read The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle, you know that uh, exactly what I'm talking about is that the voices are the, the chatter that goes on in your head all the time. Um, the thoughts and being able to grab a hold of that with the eye, knowing that you are in control of those thoughts and that they don't have to run through your mind. You can actually stop them and say, okay, now I've heard that. That's enough. I'm going to move forward. I'm going to take control of this day and I'm going to make it happen. So I hope that you guys will try that too. Take control of your day. Cease those voices and those thoughts in your head that are negative. Replace them with positive mantras to yourself. You know, today it's going to be an awesome day. I am going to do this today. And I just want to encourage everyone out there to get that fitness in, regardless of how much, how little. Do the best you can, and as you build up stamina over time, you're going to feel amazing. And I've got to do the same. You know, yesterday I came home, and I was super tired. I watched a debate and uh, just hung out with some friends for a minute. And then I just went home and got the sleep that I needed. So sometimes we do have to give in to that sleep that we need or that rest. But the other times when we, you know, we know we rested the night before, we can go ahead. If we're even when we're tired and we come home, I just, I'm today I'm going to go home. I'm going to not even sit down. I'm going to change into my gym clothes and I'm going to hit the gym. And this is the way that I found it was very successful for me um, in the losing phase was to not succumb to the, oh, I'm so tired thing. Just to come home, drop my stuff, change into my gym clothes, grab my shoes, put them on, grab my water, grab a cheese stick or whatever, and out the door. And you know what? So what if I got home at 8 o'clock at night? So what? Um, I'm going to go to sleep eventually anyway. I'm, I'm going to have maybe less time to do social media. But you know what? That's okay because i got to focus on me. And I want to suggest to you guys out here, especially you new people, Develop a habit of getting to the gym or doing whatever workout it is without exception. Um, of course, you have your rest days, but just try to develop that habit, and then it's going to become something that's second nature to you, like brushing your teeth. All right. Have a great day, and let me know what point you end up on your circle. Even a few degrees, like Nisi says, makes a huge difference of where we're actually pointed and going. So I'm in the parking garage. That's why you're seeing flashing lights. Unfortunately, I don't have any really great lighting. And <laughs> just, just rolling with it here today. Have a great day. Bye.